AQA, A-level physics, this is for the engineering option, and it's about the first law of thermodynamics. Uh, video number seven, this is. And this is the bit of the specification I'm going to be talking about. Now, this is a gas, uh, and in a gas, lots of particles bouncing around, balls in a box, and all these particles have got kinetic energy you know, which is the average would be a half mc squared bar. Uh, the total energy of the gas is called the internal energy. And that is the sum of all of these kinetic energies. So the total energy of all the molecules or atoms or whatever particles in the gas is its internal energy, capital U, internal energy. If we were talking about a solid or a liquid, then the probably some potential energy involved due to forces between the particles. But keep it simple, let's just stick with an ideal gas, internal energy. Now, the temperature, you should remember, of a gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy of its particles. If the particles have more kinetic energy, the gas is hotter, it has a higher temperature. Now, we can increase the internal energy if we give heat energy to the gas, okay? So in this case, hot air balloon, heating up the gas, increasing its temperature, we are giving it heat energy, the internal energy will increase. So Q equals delta U. The amount of heat that we give it is equal to the increase in the internal energy. Remember that in these equations in this video uh, and in the first law of thermodynamics, Q is the heat energy given to the gas. Uh, if the gas lost heat energy, then Q would be negative. So Q is positive if it's the heat energy given to the gas. Yeah, it causes an increase in the internal energy. Now, another way that the internal energy can change is if the gas does work. If the gas does work, then its internal energy will decrease. How does a gas do work? Well, look here, we've got a cylinder and a piston. The gas is expanding. It's pushing the piston outwards. The gas is doing work, okay? So if a gas does work, then its internal energy will decrease. And so we get delta U equals minus W or W equals minus delta U. So remember, W is the work done by the gas. You can also do work on a gas. If I pushed the piston in, and if I did work squashing the gas, that would be work done on the gas. But here, for W to be positive, it's work done by the gas. And if we combine those two equations, we get the first law of thermodynamics, which is delta Q equals delta U plus W, or just Q equals delta U plus W. Okay, remember, repeating myself, Q is heat given to the gas, W is work done by the gas. Now, all of this is going to be important later when we look at engines and engine cycles and heat energy and work and stuff like that. Uh, if you compress a gas, if you do work on a gas, its internal energy increases, it gets hotter. Uh, and here's an example of a gas doing work, and that's in a steam turbine. Yeah, another example of a gas doing work is in an internal combustion engine. Uh, nevertheless, that is the first law of thermodynamics. Learn it and be able to explain what it is.